Here you go, man. It's time for the blue and the white bulldogs. Talk about Selma University. We see you. What up, y'all? It's time for another 100 days PC. You in 100 days. Only two more days. <laughs> And today is powered by the number one reader for the culture, the underrated report. The link is in the bio. And today is all about Selma University. Yo, if you like this hoodie and you want one free, put I want it in the comments. We're giving away a free hoodie at the end of the week, but you got to put I want it to enter in. And if you don't want to wait or you want to look at some different colors, options we have, tap the link in the bio, take it to the website. Everything's 25% off through the month of March. So Selma University had a dope strategy. Now this was to build a school to train the preachers and teachers from across the state of Alabama, who in turn would be able to teach members of their congregations. The first classes were held at St. Philip Street Baptist Church of Selma in 1878. It wasn't until 1881 when the school was actually incorporated under the name Alabama Baptist Normal and Theological School of Selma. But on May 14, 1908, the name was officially changed to Selma University. Keep in mind, this was before they was actually a university. One of the dopest things about this school is just to follow along with this history about how the buildings were being built. Like 1889, they built a girls' dormitory named Stone Hall in honor of Miss Susie Stone. Dinkins Memorial Chapel was built in 1904, named after Reverend C.S. Dinkins, one of the presidents of the school. This building was actually rebuilt in 1921 after being destroyed by a fire and then renovated in 1980. Foster Hall, built in 1910, named after Miss Susie C. Foster. Cleveland Hall, built in 1948, named in honor of M.C. Cleveland Sr. Gibbs Dining Hall, constructed in 1953, named after Mrs. Henrietta Gibbs, and so many more. Selma University would actually go on to become a four-year institute in the late 1980s, and in the fall of 2000, the university sought accreditation to actually become a full university. And it wasn't until 2009, but it had been a long time coming. Selma University was an accredited university. Super dope alumni, I'm talking like Hall of Fame people, Dr. Maddie Moss Clark. If you like Clark sisters, Dorinda Clark, Karen Clark, any Clark, Clark bars, this is where it all comes from. She actually studied classical music and choral singing at Selma University, not the Clark bars, everything else though. And the man who Martin Luther King Jr. said was the most courageous civil rights fighter in the South, Reverend Fred Shuttlesworth. So big shout out to you, Selman University. We see you and thank you for watching. Don't forget if you want your free hoodie, put I want it in the comments. If you want to get a free subscription to the underrated report and get some more dope stories just like this, tap the link in the bio, tap the picture and drop your email. We'll get it to you as soon as we can. Thanks again for watching. Never forget that black education is black excellence. Let's keep it going. Who's next?